It's almost Halloween. I'm gonna eat my kids' candy and not feel guilty. What? Whoop! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are a returning um, subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new here, um, I my name is Brittany. First off, of course, it's obvious, but um, I do like cleaning videos, lifestyle videos, mommy videos, um, random videos <laughs> like this one, and I just like to have a lot of fun and be creative with my uh, YouTube channel so if you like this video or if you like any of your any of my other videos that you've seen um, or are gonna go check out maybe um, then I would love to have you subscribe and join me and my channel and get to know me and my family more so anyway um, today I'm going to be doing a little because uh, it, it's almost Halloween if you didn't hear my awful so sorry for the terrible singing voice that I have I'm like not super 100% feeling great my throat is like really sore so I'm gonna try to get through this without sounding like really super annoying but I can't make any promises I just can't so <laughs> Um, normally I would do um, on a Monday a clean cleaning motivational Monday but because I really just I don't feel super like great I'm not probably gonna be doing much cleaning and so I figured why not do just a sit down video and I'm going to be doing 13 um, Q&A about um, just about Halloween so yeah we're gonna see where where this goes where this takes us anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and start off um, and I chose 13 because uh, it's an unlucky number and I don't need any more unluckiness but you know I don't believe in it honestly so who cares okay so number one um, what is my favorite horror theme song it's pretty hard but I kind of know what it is it's um John Carpenter's Halloween Michael Myers coming to get you yeah that's it I love that theme song because there's a lot of theme songs because I do really like horror movies <laughs> um, I don't watch them as much as I did when I was younger because now that I have kids I kind of get a little terrified more than I used to but um, I just love the simplicity of the Halloween theme music um, it's just it's so oh, it really makes you anxious and like it's just creepy but it's so simple I mean it's just so simple so that would be my favorite horror theme song uh, number two have I ever played with a Ouija board um, no no I can't say that I have <laughs> and I don't think I ever will um, I just don't honestly believe in that kind of stuff um, I mean if you do that that's great but I just don't so um, and even to play it as a game as a non-believer I just I can think of so many better games to play than with a Ouija board so no I have never played with a Ouija board uh, number three the creepiest thing that has ever happened to me when I am alone well first off I am a stay-at-home mom and so I'm alone a lot at home <laughs> sometimes I am actually absolutely alone um, if my oldest is in school and my youngest maybe is with um, her great grandma or her grandma whatever sometimes I really am absolutely alone here at the house um, but the creepiest thing I think that's ever happened and I wasn't alone 
it was a couple of years ago, and we've only been in this house for six, six years, I want to say. So, um, Abby, my oldest, was probably four at the time, and then Adeline was maybe like two. I, I don't know. <laughs> but it was, yeah, it was a couple years ago, and Abby was really young. And it was in the morning, my husband already went to work, and Abby had came in here to get in bed with me, and we were just laying in bed. Um, I had the door open and some light coming through from their bedroom, and I kind of saw something go past our door, and our, like, the hallway out, outside of this door, it's, it just ends, it ends. It doesn't keep going, it ends. And, um... I kind of thought I saw something, but I wasn't really sure. But Abby, she was like, Mom, I think Dad just went into my bedroom. And I was like, Abby, your dad's at work. What, what are you talking about? And I didn't want to tell her, oh, I think I saw a shadow too. But um, she, even at a young age, she saw something, some type of tall shadow go past looking like it was going into her her bedroom at the time so that was super creepy I got up and I looked to see to just make sure that my husband didn't stop by um, sometimes he does and he nobody was here <laughs> Adeline was still asleep in her crib and um, yeah that scared me a lot but I didn't think too much about it shadows can be made by anything by cars passing by so I just brushed it off and that was probably the last creepy thing that I've ever kind of witnessed um, and I wasn't alone but <laughs> you get the you get the point so um, number four am I superstitious uh, no not really um, I mean I do feel like I do feel like there's some creepy unexplained things that happen but um, I'm just I don't know I just I always feel like I have a logical explanation for anything so I'm really not that superstitious um, okay number five do I get scared easily <laughs> um, yeah I guess I do um, like if I'm here alone with uh, one of the girls or both of the girls and I'm doing something and I'm like I don't see him coming up on me or something oh yeah that, like I'm like ah you s don't do that don't sneak up on me and um, I mean movies yeah they scare me um, I think what scares me more is like actual realistic things that happen every day out in the world more than like superstitious um, unexplained things, but yeah, I guess I did get scared easily, but not like, not too bad, maybe, I don't know, anyway, <laughs> okay, number six, um, do I prefer gore or thriller movies? I prefer thriller, I do not like gory movies, um, I normally like I gotta if it's on TV I have to like have it recorded and then I'll go back and watch it <laughs> and it I know I know when something gory is about to come up and so I'll just fast forward through it I, I don't want I don't want to see it but um yeah I prefer thrillers more and thrillers can be gory also but um, yeah I think I just honestly I don't know if I prefer gore or thriller, really. I think I prefer more of like just a good classic scary movie that doesn't have to have all these special effects and crazy complicated scenes and special, I don't, I don't know. I just, yeah. Simple, classic, yes. That's what I prefer, honestly. Uh, number seven. <clears throat> do I have to watch something happy after I watch a scary movie? <laughs> yeah, I do. Especially if it's at nighttime. 
Um, I, I have to find something else on. Um, even if it's watching something on YouTube um, before I go lay down to go to bed because I'm just like, what did I just watch? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Why did I do this to myself? But I do, yeah, yeah. Curiosity. Sometimes it's fun being scared, but yes, I do have to watch something nice, happy, and um, uplifting <laughs> to kind of get that um, image out of my head. So, yes. Um, number eight, what is my favorite scary book? I don't know. When I was young, one of my favorite scary books, and um, I can't remember what it's called, but it was like, it was like um, one book with like maybe eight or ten, eight or nine, ten, something like that, different stories, scary stories in it for like kids or youth or some something like that. And, um, and those were some pretty, pretty creepy stories to read as a kid. Um, so, uh, that one is probably my favorite scary book as, like, when I was younger. But now my favorite scary book, and please don't hate me for this, but it's It. Stephen King's It. Um, I read it, uh, gosh, I finished it. It took me a long time to finish this book, too. Um... Probably back in February, last February, is when I finally, like, read the whole book. And, um, oh my goodness. <sighs> Stephen King can scare you silly. Like, that book was just so... Whew. But it is my favorite scary book. I'm working on The Shining right now, and... Um, I just don't ever have a whole lot of time to read. Like, by the time I get to lay down at night and, and read a book, I'm snoring. I'm passed out, so maybe one day I'll finish it. But, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Stephen King's It is probably my favorite adult scary uh, story or book, whatever. Okay, uh, number nine. <sighs> While watching a scary movie, do I yell at the characters... Cover my eyes the whole time <laughs> or fall asleep. <laughs> I do uh, the first two. Um, if I think the characters are not making very good decisions, which half of them don't, um, yeah, I, I yell at them. And my kids are like, Mom, why are you yelling at the TV? They, they can't hear you. But me and my husband both do that. We, we yell at them when they're... They're being like really not not very bright, not making good decisions, not not thinking it through, and of course they're gonna get killed more than likely. And then there's <clears throat> tons of movies, tons, and even TV shows where um, yeah I cover my eyes a lot. I either pause it or I'm just like nope, mm -mm. nope. Yeah, the whole time. So, the first two. Um, yelling and covering my eyes. Yeah. That's how I watch my scary movies. <laughs> Call me a chicken, but... Okay, number ten. Um, do you believe in demons and devils? Or demon... Yeah, demons slash devils. Sorry, I wrote this down. Um, yeah. I mean, I believe in God, so I clearly believe in the devil and I believe that I don't think I don't believe in like the demon forms that they have on TV or movies but I do believe that demons are real and everybody has them um, it's just not how they are portrayed in what you see so I hope that makes any sense at all I don't know um, number 11. Which urban legend scares you the most? Goodness gracious. Um, I didn't really 
think about these questions or the answers to these questions <laughs> when I started doing this. So just bear with me. Um, I think an urban legend that scares me the most would probably be, uh, oh my gosh, I should have looked up ur urban legends. I haven't seen much about them in a long time. Hmm. I think it's the whole, um, I don't know, the one where like you're driving down the road and then somebody is flashing you with their lights or whatever and I don't I don't really know what else happens but yeah that one's probably um, pretty scary so um, yeah if you know what I'm talking about great if you don't I'm sorry I don't know how how much more to explain I don't even know what happens like I guess they like flash you down and eventually get you to like run off the road I'm not that's not really an urban legend that probably has happened a lot but that's all I can think of so I'm gonna go with that um, okay, number 12. If you were dared to stay in a haunted house at night, would you? Yeah, I guess I probably would. Yeah. I already want to go and stay at, um, the, uh, uh, the Stanley Hotel. Yeah, from The Shining. I'd so go stay there. And, um, I would just probably not sleep at all. Keep my lights on and not sleep at all. Drink a lot of coffee, take a lot of caffeine, and stay awake. But I would do it. I mean, I would do it. I, like I said, I don't really truly believe, so... I mean... Either make me a believer, or I'm just gonna keep sticking with not believing. Okay, number 13. Last one. What is my favorite monster or... My favorite horror monster or villain? Um, <laughs> Michael Myers. <laughs> That's my favorite monster. And I guess he's a villain too. I don't know. Monster, basically. I don't know. I just think, like, he's so creepy. And he doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even run. He walks the whole time. But he's like, and I'm, I'm watching it actually right now. So, um... Anyway, yeah, I love Halloween. And, um, yeah, Michael Myers. He is, he's, just, he's creepy, man. He just sneaks up on you and you don't even know he's coming because he, I don't know how somebody can be that quiet. I mean, even when you're walking outside, crunching on leaves and stuff, like, how, how, how do you do that? It blows my mind. Wish I could figure it out. But anyway, yeah. So Michael Myers, I'm sorry. So Michael Myers is probably my favorite horror uh, monster. Yeah, because I watch it a lot. Anyway, all right. So um, there are my 13 random Halloween Q and A. While I'm still eating my kids' candy and mm -hmm. yeah. I gotta make room for Thanksgiving coming up. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get get off here. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you'd like to subscribe and join my family, please uh, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And until next time, happy Halloween, guys. Be safe.